So I again apologize for flickering displays. So the original quarter mile no nitrous software analyzer was saying 12.4 seconds at 111 or 112 miles an hour and this is the run. So it's, you, it's like absolutely ideal traction, a very quick 1.9 second 60 foot time for a front wheel drive car, shifting it around 8200 RPM each time and uh, very very tight shifts, quarter second first gear and um, a little under half second second gear shifting to go through the H pattern and um, so this is what actually happened a um, little bit differently zooming as far as I can so what actually happens here is this is not zero this is just my dead logger so the actual run starts around here and it's 13.8 seconds at 104 miles an hour. A couple of reasons. One is the um, the red line is RPM. The green line is is speed. Um, the uh, the reason why the speed is uh, it's in kilometers per hour, and the reason why it's only showing 160 is because uh, um, it's based on the old. 22 inch diameter tires and my slicks are 24 inches diameter so you have to multiply this by roughly 10% increase in actual speed on from the speed sensor which the, that logger is drawing from and this is just a wheel slip here um, so um, throttle wide open throttle doesn't exist until second gear you see how I'm fe feathering the throttle here so I launched the car and then I'm trying to get some traction and I have a very very sloppy first shift so there I am finally dropping off the throttle and it's almost a full second before I'm back on the throttle again and the second time much faster but this um, I've got a 60 foot time of 2.3 seconds instead of 1.9 so I'm losing a lot of time over over uh, with this over half a second basically because of lack of traction and then shifting early and then having it drop down on the RPM and then have to climb all the way back up. So you really suck. That's why it's 13.8 instead of, like, say, 12.8. Um, I go through and I hit the rev limiter in second gear. It dips twice there, and I hit the rev limiter three times at the top of the track. So first thing I need to do is put a solid motor mount in because you'll see from the video that the car, the tires are chattering off the line. So the engine's rocking back and forth, and there was evidence in the engine bay that the engine was rocking back and forth and that keeps the you got on off traction several times a second as a result of that um, so solid motor mounts will solve that problem I just didn't have time to put them in last time to move the rev limiter up to about 83 8400 rpm so I can get up to 8000 without bouncing off the limit and having this sort of I'm killing every time that happens I'm killing time and um, but otherwise it works out. This this car will hit the trap speed of about 111 miles an hour. Just cleaning some of this stuff up. Just think about tightening the graph up. So where these gaps exist, just squish the um, this, move it over. And um, compress it a little bit and it gives you just a little bit more opportunity. So about 0.2 seconds after I clicked the last timing light, I was doing 111 miles an hour. So when you look at this at 8000 rpm in third gear it's 111 miles an hour so I'm crossing the lights just before this point here and um, the way it works in the quarter mile is they um, are measuring an average of the speed 66 feet before the end of the quarter mile and uh, I'm hitting 8000 rpm around 30 feet after the last timing light so if you actually look at the car and you go through the video, you'll see, if you single frame it at 60 frames a second, you'll see me clicking through the timing lights. And you can watch the RPM on the digital dash and all the other parameters as you go through that at 1 60th of a second increments. It's, it's quite interesting to see. So the car, you know, with the 204 wheel horsepower that the dyno showed, um, it should translate theoretically into this low, mid-12 second... 110 plus mile an hour quarter mile time being at 13.8 and 104 105 is you know first day you know 
it's an attempt without really having the card dialed in and set up correctly. I'll go back on June 15th or June 16th and I'll run it again and I'll also hopefully have the nitrous debugged and then I'll be able to try that as well. But uh, we're getting to at least understand the difference between predicted and actual and um, this is what it's all about, just tinkering and getting it dialed in.